Hey everyone, today's video is about when Bakugo and Tataraki comfort you because you're depressed or you have low self esteem. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. You lay on your bed, eyes open, but not seeing. It was, well, you didn't have the energy to check the clock, but you assumed that it was somewhere in the late afternoon. In the distance, you heard your mom calling you to dinner. You didn't move. There were so many things you could be doing right now. Homework, for example. But you just couldn't. Feet running down the hallway. Your mom popped her head into the room. Get your ass up and down to the kitchen. I've been calling you for ten minutes. What are you even doing in here? Did you finish your homework? She questioned. You could see her eyeing your unfinished English. That President Mike had assigned. Not bothering to answer her, you took a deep breath and pushed yourself up, feeling infinitely drained, at having to go downstairs and socialize with your family. Sitting down at the table, your family started discussing things and eating. You didn't participate in either. You could hear your math teacher drone about something. You can't bother to pay attention. Mina, who sits right next to you, is attempting to make you laugh. You give a weak smile and lay your head on your desk. You don't even know what she was saying. You got an F on your paper. You were sitting in your room, watching something, or the other, on YouTube. You got a text on your phone. We're meeting in the library at 5, right? Tadaraki sent a study chat. What? All right. You have made plans with both him and Bago to study for the upcoming test. You wanted to cancel, so badly. Before you even realized, you had written out the passage, half explaining why you couldn't come. Your finger hovered over the send button. You couldn't. You needed the study session. Yeah, sure. Bago, are you coming? Bye and send to the study chat. No, duh, I'm coming, idiot. Bago brought send to study chat. You went as a scab block. You lay back and prepared yourself mentally for the screaming that was to come. The whole time you were getting ready to spend mentally sighing and you could only peck at your food. Why am I here? I want to go home. But home is lonely. I'm tired. My head hurts. I want... Something stabbed you out of your thoughts. Literally. Bago has his fingers in your face. I was snapping them loudly. Hey, are you paying attention? He snapped. You shook yourself out of your days, focusing on them. Bago was clowning at you and shouting. While Tadaki logged on in concert, then shouted in the library. You mumbled. He shook his head, growing angrier at your lack of proper response. What has gotten into you lately? You never focus. You're always late. And don't think I haven't noticed all your Fs. Baku lectured. Why come up to study if you weren't going to pay attention? Just to waste our time? You looked away from him, feeling bad for annoying him, but mostly feeling tired. You wanted to leave. I... I'm sorry. You couldn't think of a bad excuse. You felt cornered. A few small tears came to your eyes. Toroki's reaction was emptied. He came closer to you and put a hand on your shoulder, attempted to look in your eyes. Back off from it, Bako. He called back. His hand squeezed your shoulder lightly, comfortingly. What's going on? Why have you been so out of it lately? I don't know. You started. It's just... It's been so hard. Please. What could be so hard that caused you to feel in such a bad way? Bob was coughed. Another hard look from Tadaki shut him up, though. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just been difficult every day. It gets harder to wake up. To go to school is so draining. I've lost all ambition. I just want to sleep. I'm a failure. I'm sorry that I've disappointed you guys. He explained through tears. Tariki smiled sadly. Hey, don't feel too bad, okay? I actually went through something similar. You look up at him. 
You dead? Even Bago pauses. Yes. Before I made the resolution not to use my fire, I was tired of only being a tool to cause all the mites downfall. It seems pointless. Everything was exhausting. I was just numb, but it got better. Look at me now. You're not alone. Your tears dried up a bat. Daraki, the wanderer's child, the guy who could do anything and have power to resume the strongest hero, went through a depression. It seemed hard to believe. Duh, idiot. Even if you're annoying, you can still talk to me. I mean, what's the point in even having a friend if you can't be honest? Bago Shemdan. Daraki leaned forward to hug you, and although it was tough, it was sincere. Never one for sentiments. Bago simply patted your back a bit too hard and then moved on with the studying. Thank you, Daraki. You kissed Shota's cheeks. They turned a darker shade of red, even darker than his own hair. Bago was staring at you, both. What? Are you jealous, Bago? Here. Don't worry. You kissed his cheek. I'm not jealous, idiot. Let's just continue the shit. But you could still see the blush on his cheeks, and that was rising on his neck. Later that night, all alone in the room, during a time where normally you would have just sat here and feeling, you experienced something, something you hadn't felt in a long, long time. You felt a spark of joy, warmth spreading through your body. It really did help that you knew that they will always be there for you, no matter how messed up you are. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you like the video. No bloopers today. I'm sorry. But don't worry about it, though. I hope you like the, the bloopers I got before yesterday. So give me more stories to do. I would like uh, some more ideas. I run out of ideas and I keep repeating the same stories all over. So maybe you could tell me some of yours. But I don't write. Again, I don't write stories. So you can just, yeah, you like, you can tell me a detailed story. Like he marries someone and then he cheats. On, I don't know anything. You can not tell me a detailed story because I won't try it. And there is a big chance that I can find someone, something similar. Maybe you can just tell me something, like a title. He makes you cry, he makes you chuckle, anything, anything like that. So, thank you. Goodbye. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye.